This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Yamaha Warrior. Let's face it, there's a lot of Yamaha Warriors out there. And with these being manufactured from 1987 to 2004, and being one of the most sold ATVs in the world, they're going to be around for a while. Even though they're bulletproof, they do need to be maintained. And changing your oil is one of the most important things you can do to, to maintain it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that on this 1996 Yamaha Warrior. To do this job, you'll need some basic hand tools, a torque wrench, an oil pan, rags, rubber gloves, and safety glasses, and a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures, and specs. Now we're using the Tusk Oil Change Kit because it comes with everything we need to do this job. First, we need to start the machine and warm the engine up. Make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area. Now we've elevated this machine to give you a better view. If you do this, do it in a safe manner. Next, let's place the drain pan under the engine. Next, remove the dipstick. Now if you have a skid plate, you might need to remove it before you drain the oil. Now let's pull the drain plug. Now because this was covered in oil as I pulled it out, I wanted to show you what it looks like. So you have a strainer screen, a large spring, and then the drain plug. And that rests inside of that and then goes up into the motor. So let's go ahead and use some contact cleaner and a rag and clean these. While we're cleaning this off, let's go ahead and remove the O-ring using a pick. Using some new oil, we'll put it on the new O-ring and install it on the drain plug. Now let's use some contact cleaner and a rag and clean the area around the drain plug. Now let's install our drain plug and torque it to 31 foot-pounds. Now let's remove the oil filter cover. Now let's remove the oil filter. Now let's remove the old O-ring and clean our oil filter cover with some contact cleaner. Now let's put some new engine oil on the new O-ring and install it in the cover. Now let's use some contact cleaner and a rag and clean the excess oil around the oil filter area. Now let's put some new engine oil on our new oil filter. Now they are directional. The whole side goes in and then go ahead and install that. Next, let's install the filter cover. It only goes on one way. Now let's torque these to 7.4 foot-pounds. Now that we've got that installed, if you have any residual oil, now is a good time to clean it off. Next, let's add 2.25 quarts. Now let's reinstall the dipstick and start the engine. While you have your engine running, inspect for oil leaks. Now let's shut it off and check the oil level. Now Yamaha wants you to check the oil without screwing in the dipstick. Now you can see that we have oil in the lower part of our dipstick, so let's go ahead and add 0.35 quarts for a total of 2.6 quarts and double check it. Now it's right where it needs to be, so let's go ahead and reinstall our dipstick. And that's it, that's all there is to changing the oil on your Yamaha Warrior. For more parts, apparel, and accessories, come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com and if you like what you see here, comment, but make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve, we'll catch you next time.